Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will talk about this oscilloscope. I got it one month ago and will tell you a little different story about it in compared to all who reviewed this product in the last two years on YouTube. Those YouTubers who reviewed it almost made me not buy it. So, price and what I get for a given amount of money is uh, main reason why I purchased this one. I got it from AliExpress and in that moment uh, cheapest price for me was on AliExpress but it's offered on many platforms. In same time you will see this oscilloscope uh, and my Huntek here. So you can compare it, signal uh, what uh, Huntek see, what, what Zoe see. Both will be hooked to the same source, DIY signal generator based on SC5351 chipset with here linked. Both oscilloscopes are hooked. As you can see, both reading something. A bit same signal on Huntek and here on uh, Zotek. Let me go up, but need to change step. Yep, that is faster. Here I am on 40 megahertz, where this one you see how Huntex see, you see this one, uh, it reads 40 MHz, but uh, you need to switch uh, mode on this. This is the options you need, F3, run mode, fast. You see the signal how, mu how is much stable, more stable now. Let go lower so we can go to 50 megahertz now we are at 50 let it go auto so it's center signal yeah the, here we are 50 megahertz Huntek 50 megahertz Huntek measure peak to peak 3.5 volt this one peak to peak 4.5 volts I cannot uh, confirm or deny who giving correct value regarding peak to peak voltage but frequency on uh, Huntek is same like here that is regarding uh, frequency and regarding uh, what all other youtubers says about this oscilloscope that it cannot reach 50 megahertz it can and it will do it e on easy way. It uh, even others complain that auto setup does not work properly in uh, high mode. Even I seen that from uh, a trusted YouTuber. I will not name anyone, but uh, you see here auto on 50 megahertz will not stuck. It will work will set up and peak to peak 4.3 volts that is what I wanted to say to show to you regarding oscilloscope mode now we will go in uh, multimeter mode because it's uh, 25,000 counts true RMS multimeter to see how precise can be in uh, low low measurements as well on higher measurements mode. okay now multimeter mode zero one to probes so when I test these, my 
my usual testing 0 0.2 yep you see 0 0.6 should be somewhere yep 1.1 somewhere yeah that is when you calculate uh, resistance of uh, test probes into final 100 kilo ohm can be measured here no we need to switch mode and we need to switch kilo ohm mega ohm so 100 kilo ohm very close and very nice one mega ohm yep working 10 mega ohm nothing to complain very nicely done so milliampere range let's see how we do the job 10 milliamp 150 nicely done 50 yeah very nice very very nice let me see how it can measure diode volt diode mode let me turn back very nice 2.7 volt 10 millivolts range so millivolt no yep millivolt 10 millivolt it's mil in millivolt range let me see ten millivolt very nicely fifteen almost sixteen fifty one sixty millivolt range working properly I would say let me see ohms we see in ohms we see capacitance ah that going to be interesting capacitance uh, nanofarads does it go below or it's limited it's limited 20 picofarad not detected at all even it have three decimals but it's not 330 nanofarad it's detected and measured it's fine but it's not it cannot compete with uh, LCR meters why they it should it's 25,000 counts it should measure picofarads but okay measure okay come on two 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 nicely done they are very black here it is six volts going into it now let me go a, a little higher to see how it works twelve nice twenty three nice well done so Fifty, fifty-one. Nicely done, Zoe. 
now let me see what we can do with 7 amps instant yep and let me feed a bit more yep it have warning above 10 amps okay okay so it will not break fuse instantly but it have warning that's that's nice yep now you see 233 volts 50 hertz it reading properly main voltage so all in all for 64 65 US dollars I paid for this instrument shutting down for 65 US dollars I paid for this instrument I think I got all I need oscilloscope working perfectly fine all ranges in uh, multimeter mode working perfectly fine and precisely only things I complain here is signal generator because it cannot go above 500 kilohertz depend of mode some modes even lock it to 100 kilohertz that is not on what I complain if you gave me signal generator which can work up to 1 kilohertz with different signals sine wave triangle wave uh, half wave full wave and so on if you gave me that signal then why you didn't give me the proper way to plug probes bnc connector uh, whatever connector here 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 not like this really truly Zoe. not like this USB mode with USB-C charging and in menu USB mode if you go in USB mode that is how you update firmware on this uh, instrument in USB mode you can download screenshots which you have uh, saved from the screen your measurements and so on so you can download them and to your PC and use them for later whatever and if you download firmware and put in firmware folder in this instrument you will update firmware automatically if you ask me current version 1.4 fits all my needs I am very satisfied with this purchase and I'm very happy thank you for watching and see you soon